Top 15 Things We Didn't Know About Marrying Into the Royal Family If you are brand new to our channel, we invite you to take a moment to subscribe. Just click on the lit red button as well as the gray bell. Why the bell? Well, it will let you know every time we post a new video. 15. Fifteen. There's a joint social media account for the whole fam. Everyone gets on social media in this day and age, and this includes the members of the royal family. There's no official rule with regards to the social media consumption of the British royal family members but Prince William, Kate Middleton, and Prince Harry have a joint Instagram and Twitter account called Kensington Royal. It's likely that Meghan Markle will have access to this account once she marries Prince Harry this year. In the joint Instagram account, the British royal family provides updates including the engagement of Prince Harry and Markle. The account has been used to establish a line of communication between the royal family and the public. For people who marry into the royal family in the future, they can expect to be a part of this joint account too. 14. Fourteen. Sleeping only after the Queen is asleep. The set of rules for the British royal family members is centered around the preferences of Queen Elizabeth II, most of the time. These rules are not hard to follow, but it certainly is a change of lifestyle for those who aren't used to living their lives within the confines of royalty. It will be an even harder time for those who are very fond of sleeping whenever they want. One rule that royal family members must abide by is that they can only sleep once Queen Elizabeth II has slept. Once you marry into this illustrious family, you can't sleep any time. This rule only applies if the person in question is staying in the same house or castle as the Queen. The Queen's not a reported late-night sleeper anyway, so this shouldn't be too hard to follow. 13. 13. There's a very precise wardrobe for royals. The royal family is conservative when it comes to their outfits. They're also very picky about what styles they adapt to, and all those marrying into the British royal family must adhere to a strict set of outfit rules unless they want to get reprimanded. Though the wardrobe options are still vague, the restrictions made by the royal family members are a bit odd, to say the least. For starters, it's a big no-no for royal family women to wear wedges when Queen Elizabeth is around. Another odd rule is that the royal family women are only allowed to have natural color fingernails during official events, so no dark-toned nail polish for Meghan Markle once she marries Prince William. This last shouldn't be a surprise anymore, but royal family members aren't allowed to wear any see-through outfits. However, Markle broke this rule for their engagement photos. 12. 12. Strictly no autographs. There are a lot of things a common person will let go once he or she marries into the British royal family. Aside from privacy, there are a lot of other things that will change in their lives. For Meghan Markle, an actress, her life will change drastically once she becomes married to Prince Harry. Even handing out autographs will no longer be allowed to her. The only time the royal family will be allowed to hand out autographs is during official signings at royal engagements. Handing out autographs is prohibited for fear the signatures being used against the royal family. The last person who broke this rule was Prince Charles back in 2010. He handed out an autograph to a victim of the Cornwall floods. He did break the rules, but at the situation at the time, it was an understandable offense. 11. 11. The Queen is in charge of family gatherings. Queen Elizabeth II is the royal family's most prestigious member, and the members of the royal family base their eating habits on the Queen's. Whenever there's a family gathering, the Queen sets the tone for the entire meeting. It'll be rude to do otherwise. When the Queen stands, everyone should stand. 
when the queen sits, everyone should too. Only when she eats, does everyone begin to eat, and when she stops eating, everyone stops eating too. It's a rather hard way of life, but it is something people who are marrying into the royal family should grow accustomed to. One can only hope, that the queen is really hungry during family gatherings, because if she isn't, then everyone at the table, might leave without having their stomachs half full yet. 10. 10. Get used to security guards following your every move. The British royal family is not one to mess with. They are always accompanied by guards who are willing to put their own lives on the line to protect the family. For those marrying into the royal family, lonely nights out of the house will no longer be possible as wherever they want to go, a bodyguard or any other form of security will be set to follow. Like most political, or other important figures in a country, the British royal family is always in danger of being attacked. To prevent any dangers from happening to the royal family, they are always accompanied by guards. It's hard to find a picture of Kate Middleton being alone. Our lives would truly change, if we end up marrying a member of the royal family, but we have to sacrifice our private lives for that drastic change as well. 9. 9. No monopoly with the royal family. The board game Monopoly is known for being two things, a very popular board game many have played, and that it is one of the leading causes of family quarrels. This game has put countless families in word wars with each other. As weird as it may sound, a person who marries into the royal family shouldn't expect to play this board game with the prestigious family. Back in 2008, Prince Andrew Duke of York banned the board game from being played within the royal family. The prince describes the game as being too vicious, and that's not a trait, that the royal family members should possess. Well, there are a ton of other board games to play anyway, and to be honest, Monopoly does get a little harsh at times. 8. 8. Expect fewer selfies. Selfies are such a big thing with people now. It's hard to find a person who has never taken any selfie before. It's basically a habit, to take a selfie every once in a while, but it's best to bid goodbye to this habit once one marries into the royal family. It's not a taboo by the standards of the British royal family, but it's not a very common activity for them either. That explains why selfies of the younger royal family members are basically non-existent. There's no actual rule on selfies. However, Queen Elizabeth II isn't fond of selfies, the Queen once described selfies as strange and disconcerting. For a selfie expert like Meghan Markle, selfies should be a thing of the past now. She wouldn't even need selfies anymore since the paparazzi are sure to snap photos of her whenever they can. 7. 7. Royals have to ask permission from the Queen before getting engaged. Even the Royals have their own rules to abide by. They can't just simply marry any woman they want as it's not a choice for them to make on their own. They'd have to ask permission from the Queen first, and in the case of Prince Harry and Prince William, they'll have to ask Queen Elizabeth II. The good thing is, Queen Elizabeth II looks like a nice person, and she knows what would make her grandsons happy. In 2013, the traditional Royal Marriages Act was repealed. The Successions to the Crown Act was favored. And in this act, only the first six in line to the throne, require the Queen's permission to marry. The Royal Marriages Act was stricter as the members of the family, couldn't marry anyone who was divorced or Catholic. 6. 6. Shellfish consumption will be very limited. Who would have known that being part of the royal family means being on a select diet? The royal family is very careful of the food they consume so, as to avoid any potential cases of food poisoning. For the current royal family, eating shellfish isn't a luxury they enjoy. This means no lobsters, oysters, crabs, shrimps, and other delicious shellfish for the royal family. Queen Elizabeth II actively abstains from eating any shellfish to avoid food poisoning, or any allergic reactions. 
Once married into the royal family, a person can expect to be on the diet too so, if his or her favorite food is shellfish, then they better say goodbye to it. Well, there isn't a camera on the royal family at all times, so they could probably sneak and eat a lobster or two every now and then. 5. 5. Titles will be a part of the name. Calling a member of the royal family by his or her name alone is not a crime, but it is something that one shouldn't do. It's a big disrespect to the royal family, if they are called without titles, and those who marry into the royal family should be addressed by the appropriate titles they are given upon marriage. When Kate Middleton was married to Prince William, she was given the title Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cambridge and she should be addressed as so. Meghan Markle will be given a title of her own too. It certainly is a mouthful of a name once a person gets his or her royal title, but it just sounds so prestigious and nice that we can't help but be jealous of not having name Spicer like that. 4. 4. Any political involvement must be terminated after marriage. The rules when marrying into the royal family don't stop after marriage. If one is already married into the royal family, he or she will have to follow a strict set of rules too. This includes cutting all political ties and involvement, regardless of where the person is from. Honestly speaking, being away from any political involvement sounds rather nice. Any political involvement includes voting, running for any political position, and if that person is already in a political position, then he or she must leave the position. The royal family is already a political figure on its own but despite this, their political involvement is very limited. This is the family's own way of remaining neutral, and keeping their role of being relatable to all people. 3. 3. Marrying non-royals requires special approval from the queen. Royal family members are not required to marry other royals. Their full set of candidates is open to just about anyone. Both Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton for starters, have no traces of royal blood in them. Prince William's second wife, Camilla Parker Bowles was also not of royalty. However, if royals want to marry non-royals, they need to get the approval of the Queen first. While Prince William's wedding went off without a hitch, we might have not seen what happened behind the cameras. The prince probably had to talk to his grandmother about Kate first. That goes the same for Prince Harry. We might never know what the standards of the queen are into approving ladies who want to marry royals, but we're sure she doesn't easily approve non-royals. 2. 2. Marrying a royal doesn't automatically make you a king or queen. The common misconception is that being married is the easiest way to become a king or queen. While that may have been true in the past, that rule doesn't apply to the British royal family. The last time a person became a king or queen because of a marriage to the royal family was way back in 1689 when William III married Mary II. Queen Elizabeth II's husband isn't King Philip, it's Prince Philip, because a man cannot get the title of king, if it's his wife with royal blood, because kings automatically trump queens, they cannot be given that title. If a British queen does marry someone British, he will be addressed as Prince Consort. In the case of Prince William becoming king, Kate Middleton's title will be changed to Queen Consort. That would be the same for Meghan Markle. 1. 1. The royal ranking applies to all occasions. The royal family is very keen on staying true to their respective positions and rankings within the family. This system becomes a way of life, and it applies not only to those who are born from royalty, but also to those who marry into royalty. That ranking applies to nearly everything, and members of the royal family must literally know their place and where they should stand during photo ops and other gatherings. As of now, the ranking of the current royal family starts with Queen Elizabeth II, followed by Prince Philip, Prince Charles and his wife Camilla, Prince William and his wife Catherine. Last is Prince Harry, but once he marries Meghan Markle this 2018, she will join the ranks too. Yeah.